is hurting. People are hurting. Death has taken place. We gotta do something. People are looking for answers after a shooting that killed two people, including a police officer. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Tonight, investigators are looking at video, collecting evidence, and interviewing witnesses after a deadly exchange of gunfire in Champaign. 24-year-old Darion Lafayette died at the scene. Champaign police officer Chris Oberheim died at the hospital. Another officer was also hurt. Their name has not been released but police said they were in stable condition this afternoon. This whole scene unfolded overnight. Champaign police were called to a domestic disturbance at Town Center Apartments off of North Neal. Police say Officer Oberheim and the other officer were met with an armed individual and that's when gunfire was exchanged. Police will not say at this point who fired first. WCI 3's Bryce Beeman joins us live from the Champaign Police Department. And Bryce, Officer Overheim's squad car covered in flowers, someone behind you right now setting things on top of that squad car. Yeah, Jessica, and they've been out here for a while. They lit a candle, and they're just here paying their respects for the fallen officer. And there's been multiple people who have come by just dropping off flowers and trying to speak to the police and just pay their respects. No more shootings. That's what my call is. No more shootings. Put them down. And let's have some decent conversations. That's what mature individuals do. That's the call to action from faith leaders in Champaign. They gathered to pray while investigators tried to piece together what happened outside of an apartment building. Two people were killed in exchange of gunfire, including 24-year-old Darion Lafayette and 44-year-old police officer Chris Oberheim. He will always be remembered for his bravery and the oath of office he honorably upheld to proudly serve the citizens, community in which he loved. Oberheim leaves behind his wife and four kids. Support for his family has poured in from all over. As a community, we wrap our arms around his family and his co-workers and his fellow officers at CPD. People in Champaign are heartbroken over what happened. It's a tragedy for our Blue Lives Matters as well. We want that well known that we are praying for the police officers as well. This tragedy comes on the heels of rising gun violence in Champaign. She says it needs to stop. She's afraid for her safety and for her kids. It makes me emotional to think about our children out here, shots being fired, unsafe, fearful. And that's why people of all backgrounds gather to pray for peace. Can we lay our head down on our pillow? God, may you do business with us. It's a pandemic, just like the coronavirus and how, we, how they fought the coronavirus. We have to fight this pandemic, too. While they hope their message is heard, families and friends are grieving the loss of their loved ones. All members of the Champaign Police Department are mourning the passing of our close friend and colleague, a beloved husband and father, State police are in charge of the shooting investigation. In Champaign, I'm Bryce Beamett reporting. All right, Bryce, thank you. We are expecting more details to come from that investigation in the coming days.